Hey Virgos, so this is for Virgos who are dealing with the Pisces for the month of June 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get it Virgos, coming in with the Three of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Empress in Reverse. This person has you all the way fucked up, coming in with the Empress in Reverse to the Ten of Swords. There was so much pain, Virgo, so much betrayal, so much sadness, so much tears. You guys ended up finding something out about this uh, Pisces that absolutely destroyed you guys and you guys just wanted nothing but love and light but this person honestly put you guys through the ringer they put you through so much pain that i don't know if you guys understand how much pain like if you guys were to explain yourself to somebody else they would tell you like yo you were you went through a lot of fucked up shit right like you had nothing but love for this person coming in with the ten of swords and it's like every sort of every every time you want to give them love they all they did was hurt you and hurt you and hurt you and then put you through so much chaos so so much turbulence and it's almost like you guys kind of like walk around with like a dark cloud over your head, but please make sure Virgos that you guys are always going to clear up your energy, all right? This person caused you so much pain with the three of swords to the nine of wands and the two of cups. You guys had nothing but love for this person. You guys did everything you guys can to fight for the, fight, fight for the connection with the nine of wands and you guys did the best you guys can to stay as resilient as you guys can like you guys didn't go around flaunting your pain telling people oh, this person did no virgos you know because you guys literally love this person so much maybe this person has to come towards you but they are going to be making a, a move to come for you but i don't know how much you guys are going to be able to be able to forgive this person because they got you really insecure they got you doubting yourself they got you doubting your self-love your self-worth they, you, you you were eventually you're you're upright at one point but when this person comes back and returns back towards you again, they're, you're going to remember how much pain this person honestly caused you and how much uh, destruction they honestly brought into your life. You guys ended up breaking up with each other with the tower card, the hangman in reverse, the lovers, because they somebody here kept you in a relationship with them when they were either not feeling the relationship, but somebody was just in a relationship just to be in the relationship. And that's the most saddest and the most hardest thing that I even have to say to anybody. Somebody here was in a relationship just to be in the relationship. And and in the end, it destroyed both of you guys and it had to be released for Pentacles in Reverse. This person needs to know when to break up with somebody and when to keep them around. If you don't love somebody, break up with them. Don't force yourself to be in a relationship with somebody just to waste their time because now you got somebody making them feel like they're that they're inadequate. Now you got them feeling all fucked up. And why do they feel why do they have to feel that way for? Why should somebody have to feel that way because you don't know how to break up with somebody on a pro, in a proper way? Just tell them, "I don't want to be with you anymore. The road is done. Whatever. You're ready to move on." Okay then. You said what you needed to say and go on with your life. Anything you say can't be held against you. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> Don't talk like that, all right? Just because if you want to not be with somebody, be a grown adult and tell them that instead of wasting their time. Uh, it's done over with, Virgos. Eventually, they'll try and come back again to you with the Ace of Pentacles making an offer for you. But you guys, some of you guys are still holding on to this connection with the Two of Wands, Magician, and the Six of Cups. Because you guys still love this person. You guys are still missing them. You're like wondering, like, when are they going to try and come back? But a lot of you guys are missing the synchronicities. You guys are getting the numbers 222, 333, and 666. It's time for you guys to release it and let it go. Move on with your life. Start manifesting your desires. Start manifesting things that you guys want. You guys might literally be manifesting this person back because you guys continue to daydream about them. The more you daydream about them, the more you're manifesting them back, Virgo. You guys are going to start seeing big, big... Oh, they said a, bit, a big owl, Virgos. You guys are gonna see a big owl? Oh my God. Oh, Virgos, you need to. You need wisdom. That's what you need. You need wisdom. You need intuition and you need wisdom. Listen to your intuition. All right. Uh, you guys have. So this, this person's gonna try and come back and maybe confess to you, make a proposal to you in some sort of way. But you guys are stepping into your power with the Queen of Wands. They're going to try and make a decision on what they want to come in and offer you. But deep down, Virgos, I don't think you being the Queen of Wands, it's more so the fact that the love is spilled. There is no more love in the situation anymore because somebody here doesn't know how to break up with somebody when they should have broken up with them at that time. And instead of keeping them in a relationship longer than they should have, 
now this person's lost the moon card. They have they act very, very mysterious with the King of Pentacles. This definitely could be your energy, Virgos, or your Pisces, your Pisces here, and you guys. You guys are both at the same ways, but more so the fact that you are looking at your Pisces and trying to figure them out, but for whatever reason, you can't find you can't you can't figure them out, and you, for some reason you cannot read them. At the bottom of the deck, you got the three of cups, the nine of swords, and the knight of pentacles. Somebody here goes and parties a lot, drinks a lot, comes back home, they sleep, they they have insomnia, they wake up in the middle of the night, they're trying to find the wisdom, but they cannot get it together, Virgo's Nine of Swords, they're having a really hard time sleeping. The, you guys are trying to do your best you can to walk away from this relationship and to leave it alone mentally because it's bringing nothing but stress towards you guys. And you, your Pisces wants to come in and speak, Virgos, but you guys, somebody here might be a little bit worried or scared what the Pisces has to say. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Somebody here wants to find out if they put you in a three-party situation or vice versa. But they're going to try and come back and let you know, like, hey, can we start this cycle all over again? Because retrograde is about to be over, right? June 3rd is about to be over. So if you guys were having problems during retrograde, it's going to come back for you guys. And they're hoping that you guys are going to accept their offer. <sighs> But deep down, Virgos, I don't know if it's going to be able to be fixed because somebody here was a liar, a cheater, a thief. They did sneaky shit behind your back. They also have a fake account. Somebody here likes to stalk you on fake accounts too, Virgos, and they're very manipulative. And they also uh, are a pathological liar too. A lot of mental illness is two Virgos with the two of swords, seven of swords, page of swords, and the five of swords. Somebody here has suffers from some sort of mental, some sort of mental illness too. Uh, maybe bipolar or something. Uh, at the end of the day, they're going to try and come and make an offer towards you. Make sure that it's either going to be a friendship or it's going to be a relationship, like a lover relationship, because they don't want to leave you alone. Like they, they see you as a nine of cups. They don't want to have you gone. Right. Cause it's making them very, very sad and regretful that they lost out on you. But at the end, and then again, they should have known what they was doing. Uh, but that's none of my business. Um, Hierophant, the temperance card. They may honestly go and ask, yeah, Virgos, if they this person can't get you back, they may honestly go to a high priest, a spiritual practitioner to do some sort of spell work on you guys. But I want you guys to know that that spell work, it will manifest, but this person is going to be going having to go through judgment because of the fact that they did that to you. They should not be doing spell work on you guys if they're the ones that didn't want to be with you to, the, to begin with, right? And they're going to have to pay up a lot of money. And I don't think the spell work is even going to really matter. You guys might be able to feel it with the Seven of Pentacles. But then when you guys feel that shit, you guys are defending yourselves right away. I don't think this person is going to be ready for the heat with the Six of Pentacles. Um, yeah, sweeties, you guys know how to protect yourselves. You guys got money coming towards you guys too, Virgos. But more so with the fact that the Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles, you guys got more money on the way because you guys are focusing on the on your money, focusing on your work, focusing on your goals, your harvest. See, harvest again, focusing on your manifestations, planting those seeds because you guys want a better future for yourself with the Sun card. You just genuinely want to be happy. You guys have a goal that you guys have been in hermit mode, fucking working and busting your ass off because you're trying to get your wishes fulfilled with the Four of Wands, Virgos. Your Pisces loves you very much here with the queen of cups to the ten of cups and they're going to communicate that with you and they're hoping that you guys can have a beginning with each other or maybe even move in with each other as well and and, and you guys are going to probably take up on that offer but you guys need to make sure that if you guys are suffering from poverty or not having enough money right now you guys need to get that together somebody here also doesn't feel like they're worthy enough for their pisces and for that they may end up walking away from them and putting it to a complete ending because your pisces or you guys come off as somebody who has everything under control you're very powerful you almost like act like you don't need nothing from nobody because the way that you could present yourself you're very, very independent for yourself, male or female. You act like you don't need nothing from nobody. And you may very well don't need nothing from anybody at the end of the day. But they're going to come back and speak to you, Virgos. You guys also come in as masculine energy for the females. Like, that's because you didn't have anyone to fucking save you. You didn't have anyone to hold you down. You didn't have anybody to come, come protect you and take care of you when shit was going fucked up. Like, you didn't have that. So you have to step into that masculinity of yours when... When somebody wants to come try you, right? King of Swords, King of Wands. You guys step into that King of Wands energy, Virgos. You're highly, very highly intuitive to trust your intuition. If you guys are going through a legal case, it looks like it's going to end up going in your favor, Virgos. You guys will be getting a lot of money. Somebody here is also going to be getting inheritance too. That's also going to go in your favor. Your Pisces is going to end up being very much so obsessed with you that they're going to end up contacting you left, right, and center. They have to talk to you, Virgos, but at the end of the day, 
They are coming in with a lot of trick shit, all right? Make sure that this person isn't going to contact you left, right, and center, phone call after phone call, message after message, just until they get you. And then when they get you, you guys are going to be arguing with this person. It's going to be fucking annoying, right? And in the end, uh, you guys have the power. You guys have everything under control with the Emperor card. They're going to have to come and talk to you as the Page of Wands. It's like, if, can I help you, son? <laughs> <laughs> two of pentacles do expect them to contact you they kind of go back and forth they're like a flip floppy because you guys come in as someone who's very intimidating so it's almost like yeah you know boss man boss girl and you guys are almost intimidating very much so intimidating to this person here however though virgos do expect the message coming in for this person they are going to be going back and forth back and forth on their text messaging and the way they want to contact you but that's because they're Messaging and deleting. Messaging and deleting. They're going back and forth. But they're still going to message you at the end of the day. Thanks, cuties. Bye.